everybody welcome back to my channel today is the reveal day yay for the day and night dress challenge i'll leave the hashtag here what i encourage you to do is make sure you go to elizabeth made this channel i'll link, link that below and up in the i cards here and also follow the hashtag day and night dress challenge on Instagram. You will see some beautiful, beautiful dresses, beautiful coffee dresses, beautiful cocktail dresses, and you get to follow along and perhaps find somebody um, that you like and can follow as well. And also here on YouTube. So make sure you check out um, Elizabeth's, um, excuse me, her um, blog post because then she'll post everybody who has participated and you can read everything, get updates and all that stuff through Elizabeth's blog. So I will link that down below. But I want to come in today and share with you and give a small review on the dresses, the patterns that I use for this challenge. Again, thank you so much, Elizabeth. This was so much fun. I was happy to be able to, to um, play with a couple textures and a couple different things. So yes, so let me jump right into it. So my coffee dress, which I don't have on because I have on my cocktail dress, this one is a little harder to get on and off. So and I did short little clip, video clips, in, which will play right here, some um, pictures and little video clips here, and you'll see me in it. But let me show it to you. It is the Porsche party dress. And if you've been watching my channel the past few videos, I've talked about free patterns and different things of that nature. I'll link that up above. But one of the free patterns I talked about was the Porsche party dress from Rebecca Page. That is the dress that I use for my coffee dress. And I absolutely love it. Here it is. The fabric came from Stylish Fabrics. Thank you very much, Stylish Fabrics. It is a beautiful knit, a purple um, knit. And I will link below the link to the fabric if it's still available. And I believe it is the last I checked. But this is the dress. It turned out absolutely beautiful. I will say, and I do have a couple notes. Um, initially, I thought I was going to have to do a full bust adjustment. But as you um, all saw my one of my other videos, you know, I was ready for it. But I didn't have to with this pattern. For one, this is a very drapey, which is what I was looking for. The uh, fabric I was looking for for both dresses was very specific in my mind and when I saw knit um, although I live in Texas I wanted a very light light lightweight knit not see-through but very light and this absolutely perfect so I can wear this in the summertime for sure probably not on one of our 90 or 100 degree days but anything between you know under that I can most certainly wear this or maybe in the evening and so I absolutely loved it. I finished pretty much the whole thing, I want to say, on my serger, except for a couple scenes I need to do. I did not, let me just show you for the bottom. Oh, I got a thread there I got to get, but I did not finish off the hem. Um, only because it's so drapey, I didn't want it to add any bulk or texture <clears throat> um, down at the bottom. I just wanted to flow very nicely and hang very nicely and it does and what I absolutely love about it you will see it in the pictures that I'll post up is that button look at that and the little open slit in the back so pretty now you do have the option with this pattern and this is the free one to drop this down so if you really want it to open up have on maybe a sexy bra or something like that um, or if you don't have to wear a bra <laughs> then you can um, get away with that but I didn't want mine cut that low so it hits absolutely perfect bra covered up yes absolutely beautiful look at that and yes purple we all know that this year is shades of purple for me and I wanted these two dresses when asked to be an ambassador for this challenge I was like oh my birthday is in February and oh which has passed I'll talk about that in a separate video <clears throat> but at any rate this here was absolutely perfect when I saw it and I did finish off the neck edge with uh, bias binding um, there's not much to say about it um, some of the instructions was a little confusing only because it includes directions for different ways of finishing it so um, you have you could do um, 
like bias binding or you could it's a couple different options you have to finish this the neck edge off and this back seam off the directions are good don't get me wrong but yeah it was a couple parts were um, a little confusing I had to go back and just make sure I was following the right if like if you were doing X Y and Z skip to this step and so yeah I was confused on a couple of those parts but I it came all together beautifully um, the other thing is the shoulder seams now I am using a solid color and I imagine this doesn't matter if you're using a solid or a print she has a Rebecca page has a channel here on YouTube where she talks about um, she walks through this she has a sew along for this and one of the things she did mention now I didn't follow the sew along but I did watch parts of it just to see if there was anything in particular I need to keep an eye out for but what she talked about was the shoulder seams you can get very confused if you do not label this especially if you have a solid color like me and both sides look exactly the same I use um, I used uh, masking tape just to make sure I was you on the right sides because you can get confused as to what's the shoulder seam versus what's the the underarm seam and so to prevent that make sure you just mark your pattern pieces but other than that absolutely beautiful I love the way it fits um, around my waist the back everything it just flows beautifully so I should have them popping up some pictures and so yes absolutely loved it love the pattern very easy and most definitely i can see myself making it again because again i didn't have to do a, a full bust adjustment it was just grading out um the top i did in a 5x and the bottom i did in a 4x so i just graded in which typically i have to go the opposite way but yeah that's the way and i could have actually probably if I'm honest did the whole thing in a 4x um but it's fine that's fine I was just being I wanted to be careful about <laughs> the top that it wouldn't be um just wanted to make sure there was enough room even though I was using that um so now let's switch to the cocktail dress which is what I have on now if you cannot tell my sleeves and my collar is made out of the exact same fabric from stylish fabrics and um yes yes and then this which looks like and sorry i'm looks like i'm losing a little light um which looks like faux leather it's not this is knit and it's from joanne fabrics and i'll have a video playing but i did a full bust adjustment on my first princess seam garment these princess seam go all the way from the shoulder all the way down to the hem and i did my first full bust adjustment and might I say it turned out perfect no drag lines no pulling nothing let me just stand straight but you can see I'll have a video here as well absolutely love it I did not finish the hem because what this is this is a knit but on the flip side of it it's almost the consistency of a scuba but may about the same almost the same thickness I would say as a scuba on the other side of this um has decent amount of stretch not a ton but a decent amount of stretch I um what else I want to say so I I did the full bust adjustment let me just show you here <laughs> all of my markings this is my full bust adjustment and I actually follow Kathleen Cheatham's um, adjust the bust on um, Craftsy and so I followed that to do the FB on, FBA on a princess seam garment and so um, and I should have popped up the picture what the, the um, pattern looks like but that pattern is also free however I cannot link to it because it comes with the magazine sewn magazine the first issue and so I will link sewn magazine down below and I'm not sure if you can still order back issues you may be able to but that's that pattern came with the subscription or paying for that particular issue and so my notes on here um, that I have I loved love the way it fit that full bust adjustment was on point on point also love that you use different textures 
four different parts of the fabric. So you can use uh, woven for the cuffs. I use knit for the sleeves, as you can see, and for the collar and for the main body. And this is not a woven. This is actually um, leftover fabric from my black cardigan, my Lisbon cardigan. But remember, if you saw that video, I said it is so thick. Um, it's almost a woven, but this is a knit, believe it or not, but it almost feels like a woven. Also got this from Joanne Fabrics, and um, I just use that. And the lining, because you do line it, oops, showing you the wrong side. You do line it, and I just used um, a lining fabric from Joanne Fabrics as well. And then my button on my cuff is this cute purple button, which I absolutely love. And so, yeah. Yeah. And let me show you this other little detail. So here's the front of the button. To add a little stabilization to the button, I did this on the flip side, just to give this here some stabilization. Now this, these aren't functional buttons where I pull them through and everything like that because I tested this and saw that this went over my hand so easily. There was no need to do a buttonhole. So I just did this. I stabilized the back, added some structure there to the back, and pinned it, um, not pinned it, um, and hand sewed it in place. And so, yes, absolutely love this. Now, I can most certainly make this again. Um, I traced out the pattern and, um, you know, did my adjustments and whatnot to it. And yes, absolutely beautiful. Now, a couple things about the pattern I wanted to mention. I'll show a clip here. Now, typically for my PDFs, um, you know, I send my PDFs to pdfplotting.com. I will link to Vivian's video. She just did a, a review of PDF plotting. I'll link that below. Um, but typically, I always get them printed in black and white. Well, this time, because I didn't have enough in my order, um, I only needed maybe three patterns printed that I had or, or something like that at the time. And so I decided to print this particular pattern in color. Um, so happy I did <laughs> because, and I'll show here, because one of the um, pattern pieces was missing a seam line, um, the largest seam line around the pattern piece. So there were you know, there needed to be one more size and that size line was missing. The larger size line was missing on one of the pattern pieces. So I had to go through and, um, you know, measure that out and get that all together. And so if I had printed it in black and white, I would have totally missed that and I would have had I would have had some issues because I did not have a lot of this fabric. I thought I had enough and I had to go back and get all ready. I wanted to get a yard and a half, but do you know that when I went back, it was only a yard and three quarters of it left and it was a bolt full. And um, so, yeah, but this is, a, I mean, come on, Joanne Fabrics for y'all in the United States, you already know this is, this is upgrade for them. They don't usually get this good, you know, on that, <laughs> on, on their knit. This look like faux leather and it is not, it is, uh, it's a knit, it is a knit. And so, um, at any rate, so I had to still go back and get, um, some fabric. Um, the directions, I want to say the directions say this is probably for intermediate, um, and, or advanced beginner, it might be. I put up the directions, but the directions did not tell me how much seam allowance I needed. Like, you know, most patterns would say three eighths, five eighths or something like that. I had no idea because it never said, it wasn't clear on the seam allowance to sew except for the cuffs, it talked about it in another area. But other than that, like the main body and everything, it didn't say. So I sewed everything up on three eighths inch. And I did that because say I did five eighths and it was too tight. I don't want to be bothered with unpicking and all this other different stuff. I figure if it's too big at three eighths, I can just go back in and just, um, you know, fix that um, as opposed to the opposite. And that worked perfect. All of this is three eighths. Everything is sewn on three eighths. And um, you probably, let me see if I can raise this up without showing y'all my business. <laughs> yeah, you can see. I finished everything off on my serger. 
very easily, um, which was wonderful. Um, once I got past, you know, ooh, I have to do a full bust adjustment on a princessing garment. Once I got past that, because I can't, I don't know about you all, but I can get a complete mental block from moving to the next step because I'm feeling like I have this big thing I need to do in order to move forward. And for me, for this particular garment, it was, oh, I got to do a full uh, FB on it. FB on the princess same garment and I was just kind of like Ugh. it took me forever to watch the video <laughs> and get to it but I did um and finished on time you know I finished everything um on time um yeah so the other and so for any of these garments keep in mind if you do have to make adjustments like full bust adjustments waist hip adjustments um, rec do realize even if you're um, a plus size like me for me I primarily focus only on 60 inch width fabric 58 to 60 inch um, because I know I have to do these adjustments it's a waste of time for me to try to manipulate and put things puzzle piece fabric pieces together for 45 inch fabric and that frustrates me so I don't even waste my time I try to stick to 60 inch and so this um, both of these fabrics were uh, 60 58 60 inches so just keep that in mind um, I sewed everything on 3 8 uh, oh what makes this hard getting in and out this neckline is tight <laughs> but because it's a knit it does stretch but I got a big head so yeah, I was, you know, had to cover up my hair and everything. And um, I am losing light. Uh, and uh, I wanted to make a comment about the cuffs I see on here. But I don't see. I know it's something about I edge stitched. One end you edge stitched. The other one, it didn't call for edge stitching. But I did edge stitch. But I did end up edge stitching. So, um... That was it. That was it. Um, this was absolutely fun. Both of these pieces. And so again, I am so excited to have been a part of this challenge. And thank you, Stylish Fabrics. Thank you, uh, Life Scarf. Thank you so much. Um, Elizabeth from Elizabeth Made This. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the gifts. Um, and just being a part of a, a wonderful challenge. So Thank you, everybody. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. All right, everybody. Have a blessed day. Bye.